Hello, good morning. Um, it's actually not morning at all. Um, oh, hi, it's me, Annie. Do you hear that? That's right outside my window. I'm sorry for the audio, but they're right outside my window and it's... Um, well, let's just say it's making me leave my room, which is a good thing, but I, yikes. Oh yeah, good morning. Hi, it's me, Annie. It's not morning, actually. It's like 12 a.m. Sorry, I just moved because it was too freaking loud there. Yesterday, I woke up, I had my window open so I could hear like them fucking doing whatever they're doing. But today I was wiser and I, and I closed my window, but still it's just like super loud construction work noises. It's not a very pleasing sound to wake up to, you know? Today I have a day off of work and it's very sunny outside. At least that is what my weather app says. I'm just gonna take you with me throughout the whole day probably. And we just go and hang, you know? <laughs> First off, I need to go to the store to get milk and possibly pineapple. Because coffee and because pineapple. <laughs> Let's go. Anyway, I, hi, hello. I'm on my way to Castle Hill, to basically a hill. Basically I'm hiking. <laughs> so, see you on the top, I guess. This is me. <laughs> we be out here. Um, I'm back, back from my little hike, uh, my little walk, um, my little something something. It was adorable, it was amazing. I don't know why I feel really tired right now. I have lunch in front of me right now, so I'm gonna eat lunch now. Um, I met a very, very nice old man on my way back. And we just had a very lovely talk. He was there. He was walking his three dogs um, who were amazing, adorable, and just cute as heck. I'm really tired for some reason. I don't know why. I hope this food gives me some energy. And then we will see. I will see you later. Hi, guys. It's later. It is, in fact, a lot later. It's been a few days. <laughs> I didn't film anything after the hike. 
I didn't really do anything. I don't think I even left my room. But I just wanted to hop on and kind of finish this video because I didn't really finish it any in any way. There was one thing that I wanted to say that I forgot to say. When I came to the UK, which was last September, I, first of all, I had never been to, the, to England before I came to study here. The first time I came here, I came here to live. I chose Huddersfield only because of the university. Yeah, the, like my main focus was uni, course, and you know, so I feel good in that environment. When I came here, I realized this is a small town. I came here and I was like, whoa, like, I like everything except the fact it's not like a big city because in my head I think I like big cities because I'm just used to like loads of people, loads of events at all times, always have somewhere to go, something to do. But recently since I've been like hiking more and just like going on walks and stuff, I have realized that I actually love the fact that I'm here because if I was to live in London, First of all, I'd have to take metro everywhere I go. Like my friend lives in London. She has to take metro to get, get to uni. I live literally in front of the university. I can get to my university in five minutes. No exaggeration. At first I was like, oh no, like I wish I lived in like London and whatever. Cause there's like, you know, a lot of things happen there, blah, 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 opportunities, whatever. But now I've actually realized that I love the fact that I'm here. I can hike, which I've always loved to do, but I never really got to do because I lived in like the center of the city. One thing that I've known in my subconscious, I think, I don't really think about that a lot, but I've known the fact is that this might sound a bit cheesy, but in my head, I love city life. So I love socializing, I love people, I love parties, I love events, I love the busyness of the city and everything else. I love like huge cities, you know? But in my heart, how do I can say this not sounding cliche? But in my heart, I am a nature child. I think that is because I pretty much grew up with my grandparents in the countryside so that's like circulating in my blood and that's like what I love deep down. I love nature but that is kind of something that I obviously also need balance in. So now I'm glad that I'm here because I have you know a lot of greenery around me. I just didn't realize I needed it but I do need it and it's, it really calms me down and basically what that means is that everything happens for a reason guys. Remember that. Everything happens for a reason. It is true. It is fact. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. You guys that do watch me every week, please let me know what kind of content do you want to see from me? Do you want to see more vlogs? Do you want to see me do like challenges? What kind of challenges? You know, just let me know. What exactly do you want from me so I can give that to you? Just as much as this is for me, this is also for you to enjoy. So let me know. Yeah, leave a comment below or just message me somewhere. Message me on Instagram, Twitter, wherever, you know. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Have a good day or morning or evening or night. And I will see you next time. Bye.